Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe from GadgetryTech.com and I am covering the Bang & Olufsen Beoplay Portal headphones today. This is an exciting review because let's face it, $500 MSRP, this is not a cheap headphone. You're gonna have to have a lot of justification to spend that kind of money. And usually high-end headphones for Xbox are $150 to $300. Now when you get into higher-end wireless Bluetooth headphones, which are typically $200 to $400 um, for high-end mid-range, um, that starts to add up and it starts to make more sense. Now we're gonna go into all the features later in this review, but I wanna explain a couple of things first. This is, this just came out. I don't have long-term feedback to give yet, so I'm not gonna talk about the long-term EQ tuning or battery life or long-term wireless stability because that would be misleading. I'll do my best to explain what my initial thoughts are, but then down the road, I'm gonna do a follow-up video. So uh, stay tuned for that while I'll uh, touch base on anything that I missed here. So. 500 bucks, there's a lot, a lot to cover with this headphone. I'm gonna break it up into a few categories and go from there. With that being said, let's take a look at them because these things are very understated. They're also extremely lightweight, 282 grams on a premium wireless headphone. That's incredible for Xbox. The Turtle Beach Stealth 700s are over 400 grams. So this is extremely light in comparison. Now they use, as far as materials go, they use this you know, extremely durable polymer material for the outer headband. Looks like leather, but I think it's designed to, if you took it off your head or it's getting moved around, um, it shouldn't get marred up or, or beat up too much. This uses a bamboo woven textile fabric on the inside, which is supposed to have a lot of breathability, has a foam band. It's honestly a very basic foam band, and there's some hard points in here because of the mount mechanism to hold this. Um, you can feel that go all the way up to about here, and then it kind of just gets all squishy up top. It's so light and the padding is good enough that when it's on, there's no discomfort, pain points, any weird feelings like that. So it does a really good job without being over the top. Again, if they go too thick, it might add, add to the weight. Um, I like that this is sleek. Now this has an aluminum uh, band or mount to the ear cups and the slide on this is like butter. You really think that there's like a coating of butter on this when it goes in and out. It is the smoothest adjusting headphone I've ever used. No noise, no creaks, rattles, nothing weird. You just adjust it to fit perfectly and it feels super, super solid. That leads you then to the ear cups. Now this is a lambskin leather ear pad that I haven't had on a headset before. It helps with a few things. One, long-term durability. So a lot of headsets, headsets that look like this are typically PLU or synthetic leather. It looks and works fine, has a good seal, you know, good for performance and it's cheap. Um, so you should get a few years out of it, but over time those tend to break down and a lot of people don't even get a few years out of it. This should last a really long time being that it's real leather and Bang & Olufsen gives you a three-year warranty. So they do stand by the product. They even have a 30-day money-back trial um, if you don't like the headset. So they really do stand by the quality. Now, the outer ring here outside of the aluminum is plastic and then the inside is obviously this brushed aluminum and it is capacitive touch. We'll go into controls later, um, but this is functional. It's not just a design aesthetic, so I like that. Now, as far as battery life goes, this is rated at 12 hours with the active connection to Xbox and also using Bluetooth and active noise cancellation. That's kind of an asterisk because I wanna mention now, this does not simultaneously connect with Bluetooth while you have an active Xbox connection or any other connection. It's one audio source at a time, it will not merge it. To me, that's the biggest attractor in this, so I wanna mention that now because if you have the Xbox wireless headset to $100, the Stealth, uh, 700 Gen 2 is 150, Arcus 9X is like 180, 200 bucks. All of those let you listen to Bluetooth while you game. Uh, so I wish this had that, but the they said that it was for wireless stability um, by not having any extra interference of Bluetooth so there's no distractions from the sound. I can tell you in my usage so far, I've put a few hours into this already and I didn't have any audio cutouts whatsoever. So as far as, as, far as the stability goes, um, maybe there's some uh, verification or validation of that thought process because it does work extremely well. Now, interestingly, the 12 hour battery life, which by the way, let's be face, let's face it, that's poor on a $500 headphone for Xbox where a lot of other higher end gaming headsets are uh, anywhere from, you know, 18 to 30 hours of battery life. So this is on the low side. Um, but you can simultaneously connect to your phone via Bluetooth while you game just for the audio adjustment, which is a slick app. So it does have an active Bluetooth connection um, 
you just can't get the sound benefit from it. So maybe when it's transmitting, it affects it. But either way, I wanted to mention that. Now, as far as the rest of the design goes, it's pretty smart because the buttons have multifunction. So you have your power button, and if you tap it, um, it turns on and off. If you press and hold it while it's on for a couple seconds, it'll go in Bluetooth pairing mode. There are microphone arrays on both sides. There's actually four microphones on this because it's designed, this is a boomless headset. It does have microphones for gaming for Xbox. Uh, they're down at the bottom here. And then there's some side microphones to help listen to the surroundings to help with noise cancellation, not only on the microphone side, but to assist with the active noise cancellation on the headset to block exterior noise. Now, on the note of noise cancellation, this does a phenomenal job of getting rid of background noise. And if you're gaming on Xbox, you do have active noise cancellation on this. It, I swear, um, so my dryer was running upstairs earlier and it was you know, running away, I could hear it no problem. The second I put these on, I actually thought I put them on at the same time the dryer turned off. I mean, it literally killed all the sound that I was hearing through the walls. So the active noise cancellation is excellent. Um, I'm gonna get more into the control and adjustability of that, but that function is amazing. Now you have another slider here. Basically you have two sliders on both sides of the headset. They're touch sensitive and you basically slide your finger up and down to adjust different controls. The right side does volume and the left side has two functions. One, if you're in Xbox mode, it does your game to chat mix. So you do get a physical control for game to chat mix. And if you're in Bluetooth mode or aux mode, this will control the active noise cancellation um, and being able to hear your own voice because it does do mic side tone. You can fade this all the way so you can hear yourself talk pretty clearly as well as your surroundings, basically a pass-through mode, so I like that. Um, this button here, if you tap that, that will uh, put it in Xbox mode and then again press and hold to pair it to Xbox. So it, the functions and controls are really good. I'm gonna just stick to the controls real quick just so I don't get too all over the place because there's a lot I'm trying to cover here. So. I like buttons, I like knobs, I like knowing if I'm adjusting something, and this just takes some getting used to. There's a little bit of a, a texture that you can feel on the top and bottom of each slider, but there's no noise as you're adjusting it, so it's not like you know uh, how much you're really doing. If you do hit a max threshold in one direction, it does do a beep telling you you're all the way there, so at least you have some uh, notification, but you kind of have to guess how much you're sliding it get the other person to talk and go from there. So it takes some getting used to, it does work. I find it works really well on the volume because it's very obvious how much you're adjusting and moving very slowly and very finely. Adjust the volume only a little bit, whereas if you really do this, it cranks up the volume uh, much more aggressively. So the controls are responsive as well. Okay, now it's time to talk through the microphone and there's a few things you'll notice. One, the clarity isn't quite as open or clear as some of the other microphones that benefit from the boom. This invisible microphone array system does a pretty good job of getting your voice and still rejecting some background noise. Now, believe it or not, the active noise cancellation not only helps on the ear cup side, but it actually helps reduce background noise on the mic. So even though you may not have the clearest possible voice you can have, on game chat, it's still fairly clear, but the big advantage here is there's a lot of background noise that's removed, so your friends won't hear a lot of the nonsense going on in the background. So uh, it's a good mic overall, and one thing that's really cool about this functionality, when you're in this mode, you can tap the headset on either side and mute the microphone. That works on Xbox and on Windows. So that's a really nifty feature. Um, yeah, this basically covers the microphone. I'm not gonna dwell too much on it. This is just what it sounds like. There's no way to adjust the microphone, but I do want to call out that um, there's an active clipping function. So if you yell, it won't distort. And if I whisper, surprisingly, even when I whisper or talk very, very softly, it does a great job picking up my voice. That's incredible from a gaming headset where I can then start talking and my friends can still hear me. So if you're a late night gamer, I'm a dad. So if you got kids sleeping, you're worried about waking up people in the house, you don't have to shout and your friends can still hear you. Again, a pretty remarkable feature. These mics uh, work really, really well, especially the fact that you don't have to deal with a boom. All right, when it comes to sound quality, there's a lot to cover with this headset and I'm gonna do my best to compress this because this video could go on for an hour with the way I wanna talk about this. Let's start with music. For music as an Xbox headset, Xbox capable headset, this is the best sounding headset I've heard on music, especially when you consider that it's fully wireless. I mean, it is phenomenal in how accurate it is at producing sound. The mid-range is just so much better than any Xbox headset I've heard. It's, it's so full and rich 
you know, you typically you don't get this kind of sound unless you step up to the like planar magnetic headphones, which are typically open back and more expensive. And open back is great, but there's drawbacks when it comes to noise. So from a closed back dynamic headset, meaning it has a traditional speaker and you don't hear your surroundings that well, um, it's absolutely incredible how good the sound quality is. Now, gaming headsets can typically do an okay job with like hip hop and techno music stuff, anything that has a lot of bass and highs, but the mids don't matter as much. When you listen to rock, that often exposes headsets' true weakness. Um, the mid range are typically bad on gaming headsets. They're not accurate at all. The bass, you know, muddies up the mids, and you just, it's not what you want uh, when you're listening to music. This out of the box, even on the optimal EQ, which is like the default EQ, blew me away. It was so freaking good. I was like, okay, this is, it set my expectations really high for the Xbox side because I did the music listening to first. Uh, music listening first. It, just amazing. One example, I use a lot of the same tracks bec uh, for all my audio demos because you want to get familiar with the music. So David Bowie's Space Oddity. It's an original. Uh, I listen to it at either Master Grade on Tidal or I have it on record. And the the way his voice cuts through the sound, the music, when you hear, hear it on the right speakers or the right sound system, that song's very different than on a cheap headset. You It kind of gets sucked into the music and it's just incredible to experience this is the best sounding wireless headset i've ever heard listening to that song um, it just sounds so so good so rich and then the stereo effects of that song is, is just incredible it pinpoints it all over the place um, you, you can really tell what they were trying to produce from the recording studio so uh, it does a great job at imaging soundstage is fairly open it's not as open as a planar magnetic open back headphone i'm not going to lie and say it's like a game changing sound there's limitations to this design um, but it's really good and it's fairly wide soundstage considering the way this is built so if you need the portability with the noise cancellation good sound performance etc this is a very good sound performance perspective on the go um, something that's very hard to pull off well especially at this price range which i know it's expensive but from an audiophile perspective not too bad so music wise this is an incredible headset now if you're getting this headset just for xbox gaming and you don't care about all the music and travel needs you may not be getting um your full bang for your buck at 500. i'm not going to mislead you guys the bass, this, because this sounds so good for music, uh, what makes this sound so good for music is how flat and accurate it is. That's not always the best for games, which I know some audiophile people are, are going to wince at that. But, you know, there's games like, I use Call of Duty as an example. If you hear an explosion, do you want to just hear the explosion or do you want to get some of that rumble in your ear? You know, and I'm not talking like so much bass where it's taking away all your mids, but you want a little bit of a punch. You want a little bit of a Christmas when you eject the mag or a bullet's flying by. And you can EQ it, but I want to tell you and warn you out of the box that the default profile for gaming is relatively flat. Now, from a competitive perspective, that's great because you can hear footsteps and positioning is incredible. You know exactly where everything is, almost wider than the headset seems it's capable of being like they're farther from your head and you get a better idea of where things are versus being inside your head like some of the cheaper headphones so imaging is good but if you're buying this for five hundred dollars thinking you're going to get super loud volume pounding bass and just this like earth shattering experience it's not that headset it's fairly restrained very accurate and you can tune it to bring up that bass a little bit and maybe sharpen up the highs but i'm saying this now because i don't want you to buy this and think you're gonna get this insane, you know, multi subwoofer type vibe feel of explosions and whatnot. It's just set the expectations right. Um, if you don't care for that mid range accuracy and you only want to use this for Xbox gaming, it's gonna be hard to justify $500. I think, you know, $200 headsets will probably give you a better bang for your buck, but this has the potential to easily remain top tier. It's just a matter of if that's worth it to you or not. So um, it's really good for gaming. Honestly, I just, Outside of the tuning part of it, um, positional awareness and accuracy and the driver matching, I'm, I man, you really know exactly where things are. And as you turn, the latency is extremely low. This is easily one of the lowest latency headsets I've heard as far as uh, placing everything. I'm talking subtle movements uh, impacting the sound. So they did a great job on the sound tuning, both for music and Xbox. Just don't have the expectation of this pounding bass or high volume out of the box. 
On that last note, um, this doesn't get as loud as I expected on Xbox. It gets loud enough. It's it's as loud as probably the Lucid Sound LS50s, the LS50Xs, if you ever heard those. Those are uh, one of the loudest Xbox headsets I've ever heard. doesn't sound as accurate, obviously, um, but this isn't like a very high power handling headset. It just sounds really good at normal volumes. Still has great power handling at max. I didn't have any distortion either, so that's great too. Okay, now it's time to talk about the Beoplay Portal app. And this app is phenomenal because it actually works. Every time I connected my phone and paired it, um, I never had any issues. So the app opens up, and as you can see here, I can adjust the volume right on the app itself in addition to the headset. And what's really cool, I'm gonna do this while I'm on camera and we're showing you the app side by side, is as I adjust the volume on my headset, I'm, sh I'm seeing it change in real time on the app. So the lack of uh, lag, if you will, or the low latency functionality is great. It communicates really well. And if I go down here, I could see the different listening modes. You have optimal, commute, podcast, etc. So you can read that. I'm not going to waste your time. But the interesting one is this little circle on the right-hand side here. And you can, so this little circle in the middle, you can drag the EQ or this little sound profile. It's called Beosonic to have different characteristics of sound while you're listening to music. So I strongly recommend picking a song that's gonna last a while and start dragging this around to see if you like the way that sound profile is because if you do that, you're gonna get a really quick and easy way to tune your headphone and then just hit save and that's now your uh, whatever custom EQ you wanna set it to. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back. <clears throat> now you could see if I go down again, this is where my active noise canceling is. And just like the volume, I can adjust the active noise canceling on the headset itself. And now I can actually hear myself speaking on my own headset because I set transparency to max. Conversely, if I go backwards, it goes to neutral. And now instead of transparency, it says active noise cancellation. Now I can't hear almost anything because it's killing all of the exterior sound. Uh, it does a really good job there. Now, uh, gestures, when it says customize, you're basically just choosing what the left slider does when you're in Xbox mode. So if I uh, tap this, I could switch it to either active noise canceling or the game to chat mix. Um, I would just leave it at that because when you're in Xbox mode, you can actually still adjust the active noise canceling. So this is the PC mode, if you will, or Bluetooth mode, I should say. And as you can tell, I can change tracks. Tapping the ear cups on both sides, um, double tapping, that's how you can answer calls, change tracks, etc. So there is really good functionality built into the headset too. Um, this is really cool. I'm going to switch to Xbox mode on the app. Uh, you can do it through the headset too, but if I tap it on the app, I'm going to hear a beep and it's connecting to Xbox. <clears throat> My active noise cancellation profile has changed as well. And just like that, I'm connected to Xbox so I can hear everything just fine. Yep, it's working perfectly. So no problems there. You could tell the big thing with this, guys, is it's seamless. It works every single time. I've never had this not work for me. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. The optimal profile is flat. It's not doing anything near sound. FPS, if I tap it twice, you can see it's actually taking even more bass out. So even though this is flat, when you take bass away, this is very much focused on footsteps and game sounds, but it's not going to have the rumble effect that you uh, may be expecting from an expensive headphone. Uh, movie mode is probably the closest one to what some people are expecting. It's slightly V-shaped. Now, unlike on the Bluetooth side, on the Xbox profile, you actually get a five band EQ and you can customize this to boost bass, uh, treble, whatever it may be. And again, save these presets too. So you can customize your sound profile. This is a really quick and dirty way to do it. Now, when this is paired to Xbox, if you have Dolby Atmos enabled on Xbox, this comes with a lifetime license of it. You can really make some fine tuning and adjustments there. I actually found that game and music mode in detailed mode, not performance game. So switch to game or music, go to detailed, and that EQ profile actually sounds really good on this headset too. Again, this is only a full day of, of use, so I'm sure it'll change over time. Now, if I'm adjusting my active noise canceling slider because I'm in Xbox mode, you can see that I'm adjusting game settings. Um, and this is your game to chat mix. And I can do it through the slider as well, which is again, super, super slick. Now, surroundings, active noise cancellation is set to max. I can slide this all the way over. And now I can hear myself speaking through the headset very clearly. It's a very transparent sounding headphone at this point. Uh, and again, it's telling, reminding me about Dolby Atmos. So this is really cool. Now there are hidden features to this headset. So if you made it this far to the review, one thank you, but I wanna show you something 
amazing. And that is the aux. This is a super important detail because when I plug this aux cable in, it actually changes on the app. As you can tell, it says line in so I could do my custom presets. Most, if not all gaming headsets I've ever tested with an aux input, it's passive, meaning that you have to amplify it through the phone, through the controller. You're not getting a lot of juice that way because the amps built into controllers are terrible. They're very underpowered. And when you get an expensive headphone like this, you don't want to um, ruin it, right? So this is an actively powered headphone through the aux. It's only taking it for the signal, but you still get to use the Bang & Olufsen tuning, the amplifier built in, the noise cancellation. It's literally just using this as a new source. Pretend this is your wireless source. That is unheard of on a gaming headset. I've never seen that before. This is an incredibly versatile headset because if you're starting to put two and two together, there's another cool thing about this. Even though this is an Xbox headset, it works flawlessly on PS5, both through the cable, the 3.5 millimeter cable, and the last feature that I really like is this supports USB DAC mode. What's USB DAC mode, you ask? That means that if you plug this into a computer, Windows 10, for example, now Windows 10 sees the headset as a USB headset. So if you don't want to buy or use an Xbox wireless adapter, or you want the highest possible sound quality, you can use it as a USB headset and again, still use the app and all the tuning features on your computer, including Dolby Atmos on your computer. It'll activate that too. Lastly, the USB DAC mode works on PlayStation 5 as well. I plug this into the PlayStation. Granted, you want to make sure you have a long enough cord, but you can use this as a super high-end gaming headset for PlayStation and still use all the EQ tuning. And the microphone built-in works on PlayStation as well. This is honestly, surprisingly, a jack-of-all-trades headset. You get wireless directly through Xbox. You get USB mode to computers, the Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation, you have aux mode, which works on any controller or anything with a, a TRRS headphone jack, which is basically the, the four pole. So if you want mic and sound, you can do that. And you have the Bluetooth 5.1 with AptX um, and AAC and SBC. It has all the codecs um, that you'd want on a high-end headphone. So this literally connects to everything, and it sounds a really good job. The only thing I have to fault it for connection-wise is I can't listen to Bluetooth at the same time I'm playing games on Xbox. I wish, I wish it had that. Maybe they'll do it in a firmware update one day because of the outcry or whatever it may be. But man, functionality wise guys, this they crushed it. Okay, I'm really excited about this headset. When I first started using it, I'm like, okay, it sounds good, I expected that, but it's not fully wowing me yet. And as I start explaining this headset to people, start using it more and just listen to more things on it, I appreciate the sound quality so much. But then you get into the versatility. Yeah, it's 500, but now you don't have to buy a Bose QC35 for travel for $300 and then keep your $150 gaming headset at home for Xbox, whatever it may be. This is the one headset that you can use for everything, whether it's travel, using it at home and gaming, listening to music, hooking it up to your computer, using it on Discord. It does it all really, really well. I've never had a problem with it yet. Um, it's, it's slick. I can't suggest it enough. So whether this is worth $500 to you or not, that's up to you for a lot of reasons. If it's in your budget or not, um, if you can justify the features, if you need those features, whether you're using it for all those use cases. It doesn't come with a travel case, which is kind of a bummer because 500 bucks for a headset that travels, I wish they gave you some, even a pouch would have been great. It doesn't, but it is what it is. This is a long review. I'm so sorry, but I, there's so much to cover on this headset because it does so much. It's so comfortable, it's so good well made that if I left things out, I'm under selling or I guess not doing this headset justice. Um, again, this, this was not sent to me for review. I purchased this to compare against my other ones and I'm really, really impressed. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have questions, shoot me a comment below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see the follow-up video because I'm sure I'll be talking about this one for quite a while now. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.